And this one, let's take a look at finding the derivative of sine squared of x and say sine cubed of x because it's a very similar process. So I'm going to begin with f of x equals sine squared of x. And often it's helpful if you will first rewrite this so that it looks like this instead sine of x and then you put the square on the outside because that's what this notation means sine with the 2 and the x means sine of x and then squared and that's helpful because now this tells you which rule to use in other words you gotta use the chain rule i know that because this function right here the sine of x that's my inner function okay and this two up here that's the outer function the squaring function so this is the outer function once you have that in place at the next stage, then you can simply write f prime of x. And then, well, you first take the derivative of the outside. So that's a 2 up here, which means you bring that down, so it becomes 2. Then you copy the inside, so that's sine of x. And then you multiply that by the derivative of the inside. So times here the derivative of sine of x. Let's clean this up a little bit so it looks like this. 2 sine of x, the derivative of sine of x is cosine x, and this is a form of the derivative, 2 sine of x cosine x, but there's also a basic trig identity that says you can write 2 sine of x cosine x, you can rewrite this as sine of 2x. So this is an example of finding the derivative of sine of 2x. If you apply this, say, to something like this, take a look, pretty much the same reasoning holds. So we have, for example, here, imagine, and you should probably try to pause the video and try it on your own. f of x equals, say, sine cubed of x. So sine cubed of x. That's meant to be an exponent there, the 3. Like that. So the first thing is, usually try to rewrite it so it looks like this instead. Sine of x. And then this whole thing is cubed. Then you apply the power rule. So you're going to write f prime of x. You bring the 3 out front. You copy the rest of it, so it becomes sine of x. Remember, the power rule says you take whatever the exponent is, and you subtract 1 from it. So it becomes 3 sine of x. And up here, you got to do now 3 minus 1. Back here, when you do 2 minus 1, only 1 was left over. So we were just able to write sine of x directly. But this is different now. So here, you will also then have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So that would be the derivative of sine of x. Let's clean this up a little bit so it looks like this. Fits is going to be 3. Now here you're going to have sine. Then you're going to have 3 minus 1 is going to give you sine of x basically to the second. And then the derivative of the inside here again will be cosine x. So you put that there. Lastly, it's going to give you 3. And that 2, an exponent, normally conventionally is written up here. So it becomes 3 sine squared of x. That's a, a 2 in the exponent times the cosine of x. And this is a derivative. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like or check it out in another video.